In this demonstration, I'll show you how you can use the ESP32 to measure voltages. So we're going to use a voltage divider, and that's the wiring that needs to be added to the ESP32 ADC input. You can use any of the two or three inputs of the ESP32. So a series resistor from the circuit to be measured. I've chosen 470 kilo ohms, and then a Another resistor to be calculated that runs from the junction of that resistor down to ground and then over to the ADC input with an optional smoothing capacitor of 0.1 microfarad. So the first part of the process is to choose an input range. So I've said, well, in this example, 5 volts. Stage 2 is to calculate a value of R2. So... I've given you the formula there to do that at the bottom, R2 equals 3, which is the maximum ADC input voltage, times the value of R1, which is 470 kilo ohms, divided by the maximum input value to be read, the range, 5 volts, minus the ADC input voltage maximum, 3 volts, and the answer is 705k. But the problem isn't as simple as that because you can't buy a 705k resistor so you need to choose a preferred value. Well the, ne the nearest preferred value is it could be either 820k or 680k. Well 680k is only 25 kilo ohms away from the value we require so let's choose 680k as the preferred value. Now we can back calculate using the range V range formula I've given you there. So 3 times R1 over R2 plus 1. And when we do that, we get a range of 0 to 5.07 volts, not 0 to 5 volts, but that's good enough. So now we can use preferred value resistors. It's the same thing again for 6 volts. This time, two 470k resistors for 0 to 12 volts, a 470 and a 150k resistor, actual range 12.4 volts, a 0 to 15 volt range, a 470k and a 100k, actual voltage range 0 to 17.1 volts, 0 to 24 volts, a 470k and a 56k. Actual voltage range measured 0 to 28.1 volts. 0 to 30 volts. Resistors needed are 470k and 47k. Actual voltage range 0 to 33 volts. 0 to 50 volt range. A 470k and a 27k resistor. Actual voltage range 0 to 55.2 volts. 0 to 100 volts, a 470k and a 15k with a range of 0 to 97 volts. Note that that is just below the range that we set because of the preferred resistor values available. And here's another 0 to 100 volt range, this time using the next lowest preferred value, so 470k and 12k. This time gives a range of 0 to 120.5 volts. So that just shows you, as you go up in voltage, the tolerance is starting to become significant. Preferred value resistor tolerance or value ranges are becoming significant. And because the input impedance of the ESP32 affects the voltage divider, you need to adjust the voltage value by a factor and I've listed all the factors required, the constants required for each one of the ranges there and I'll explain how that happens later on or why that happens later on. So on the left hand side is a 6 volt battery being divided by 2 you should get an answer of 3 the constant should be 6 in the software. But in reality, because the input impedance of the ESP32 is approximately 1.3 megohms, 
it loads the voltage divider and you need to compensate for that in the software. So that constant of 6 now becomes or needs to be 7.11 to get the correct voltage reading. I've discovered that the input impedance of the ESP32 varies from device to device and depending on input current. There's a reminder of the wiring for the voltage divider. The 0.1 microfarad capacitor helps smooth out noise in the readings and it can be any voltage. Well, it needs to be a voltage that is more than the voltage you're measuring. So if it's a 100 volt circuit, use something greater than 100 volts. So here's the process. Just decide on an input range you want to measure. We we'll use 5 volts in this example. Decide on a preferred value for R1. I use 470 kilo ohms because it reduces a constant load drain on, say, a battery. So it's typically 5 microamps with two of those in series. Um, calculate a value for R2. So it's 3 times 470k over the input range you want to measure, 5 volts minus the maximum voltage of the ADC uh, gives you an exam example answer here of 705k. So we need to now choose the preferred value, which becomes 680k, and then go back and calculate the actual voltage reading range using your preferred values. And that ends up being, for this example, 5.07, naught to 5.07 volts. In summary then, using the ADC input of the ESP32 allows you to measure voltages and it's good enough process system for most applications. The default ADC resolution of 12 bits or 0 to 4095 is generally adequate for most applications. Accuracy is adequate or it can be made even better, even more linear when you add some mathematics to the solution. And if you see my tech note 069, I show you how to do that. And it can easily be calibrated in software by adjusting the one constant number. So that 5.9 on the 0 to 5 volt example is the value. The 5.9 is the value that needs to be adjusted. So it's very easy to calibrate. Each ESP32 is different, so if you want an absolute accurate answer, you do need to adjust the constant against an external meter, say a DVM, reasonably accurate DVM. And the ESP32 input impedance does load the voltage divider and is not a constant, and there's nothing we can do about that except to try and compensate in software for the inadequacies of the ADC. I hope you found that useful. I hope you found this technical note interesting and useful. 